I'm outside in a shed kind of thing and I'm about to at least put the first coat on so I built the chassis yesterday and we're gonna put the first coat on <clears throat> now which is gonna be metallic red and not white because I thought the white was a tad boring so Right. This is just going to be a light dusting uh, before the main coat, so it doesn't need to be too thick. Okay. I'm always so apprehensive when I do this. Okay, and that should literally. Oh. And that should be all it needs to start with. So we'll put that in his box. Make it here. And because it's somewhat warm out, I'll leave that outside. And then we'll come back and do the second coat. So for me, a couple of minutes will pass and for you, it'll be instant. So I will see you in a few seconds in the next... Well, I'll see you in the next few seconds for the next coat. Right, time for the second coat. I don't know how long it's been since, but... Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Lay it on a bit thicker this time. Yeah. Actually, make sure that... Oh, uh, I know everyone has their own method of painting these. Just enough to give it at least one small, well, one thin coat. And like a saw. And that'll probably do for. I wasn't even looking at the camera there. So hopefully that was in shot. But yeah. Put it back in the box. And. We'll come back in a few seconds and we'll do the second, or the third coat, sorry. So, back in a couple of seconds. Right, here we are with coat three. Okay. Always a bugger trying to get into these nooks and crannies. When you try and do it, it just ends up making the paint thick and it starts to run. Splatting a bit. I've left it in some warmth in order to make it a bit more, a bit more loose. Yeah, that's probably enough for coat. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. 
Yes. There we go. Okay, so, yeah, we'll come back again uh, for coat four. And uh, we'll keep going until we run out of paint, I suppose. So, yep. Uh, see you in a few seconds for coat four. Coat number four, I believe. Yeah. Coat number four, I'm losing count. Yeah. Oh, that's... Mm -hmm. This is how I paint mine by holding it as it makes it so I can turn the car or that I can turn the body how I need to. I used to spray paint it while it was upside down in a box. That was actually quite tricky. But now, to make it a lot easier, I hold it. That works quite well. Yeah, can't quite get into the nooks and crannies on the front. Or the rear bumper. Since I'm going to be backing this with bright gun metal, I want to cover as much of it with red as possible. All the nooks and crannies. Best I can. There you are. That will be it for that coat. Uh -huh. And probably enough in there for one coat, methinks. So then we'll come back with that. You can show my face on camera, but here we go. So, yeah. Uh, I'll be back in a few seconds, on video anyway, um, with coat number five. So, I'll be back in a few seconds, I guess. I actually finished the body off last night. I didn't record paint uh, coat four or five, whatever it was. But that's now finished. So, we're going to go on to bright gun metal. Um, I'm beginning to think it should have been white, not bright gun metal. Um, but we'll we'll see how it looks. This is basically going to look. This is going to look how the um, boomerang looked, sort of thing. So let's uh, let's try it. But again, just one simple dusting coat to start with. I need to go crazy with the first coat. And really, that's all you need to start with. So, put that back in the box. And we shall come back in a couple of minutes. Okie dokie. Coat number two. This will be a bit more thicker than coat number one. So. Yeah. 
Good for now. Yeah. Leave it there. Because why not? <coughs> uh, I'm still going to figure out how to paint the plastics. Like, how best to, uh, like, how to hold them so I can paint like both sides or just have to keep painting one side and then waiting for the other, you know that side to dry then paint the other side or find a way to elevate the spoilers so I can paint in all directions but uh, yeah <coughs> uh, yeah yeah uh, leave that there for now that's coat number two and uh, Stay tuned for coat number three, which for you will be a few seconds, um, but for me will probably be about half an hour or so, so yeah. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I'll uh, see you in a bit. Okay, dokely. Let's get on with the coat number three. Shall we? We'll lay this one down a bit thicker, or try to. No idea if this is in shot because I'm not even looking at the camera. We shall probably leave that coat there. So pop that back in the box. There. There <coughs> I still have to figure out how to paint the plastics. Hmm. There's a black dust around the cap and the nozzle. How is it black when this is red? Anyway, I'll leave that there and uh, return for you, anyway, in a couple of seconds, for me, a couple of minutes, uh, with coat... Th four? Three? Oh my god, I've forgotten already. Whatever coat number that was, um, <laughs> we'll return with the next coat. So, <coughs> uh, 
yeah, so uh, basically in a few seconds, I'll see, see you in a bit. Okay, let's go with this whatever coat number this is, which I can't remember. That's bone dry. This might be the last coat, or well, there might be one more after this, I'm not sure. <clears throat> and there's a freaking child crying in the garden next door. That's annoying. And there might be one more coat after this. Doesn't seem like the paint's completely gone yet. Afterwards, I've got to figure out how to paint the plastic. Actually, no, this might be the last, I don't know. Ooh. Just a piece of fluff on that. You really don't need to unload <clears throat> this much in one go. But the can is practically empty. See, it's stuttering a bit, or spluttering. don't need to do this much. And then when the can's nearly empty, I just kind of don't let go of the button, or don't let go of the nozzle. And that's pretty much it. <clears throat> and that's all the coats done. Hopefully. Doesn't seem to be any bleed. Not that I can see anyway. When you find out once we take the uh, masking off. Go put that away. throw this away and we take the box inside um, and then the next time uh, yeah we'll do the plastics the spoilers and the wing mirrors so I've got to figure out how to easily paint those so for me again probably about an hour or so will pass but for you it'll be a couple of seconds so I'll see you in a few seconds <laughs>